Welcome to Worth It Repairs. Today we're diving in the intriguing question, is the Samsung S25 screen compatible with the S24? Let's explore this possibility. Here we have the S25 phone in action right next to the S24 screen, the part. Let's compare their sizes and let's see if they're a potential match. As we measure their screens, we notice similarities in the size. Could this mean compatibility? Let's speculate further. The power button works seamlessly. I replaced the power button in my S25 with an S24 part. So maybe, does the screen work? Let's take a closer look. Here we have them laying on top of each other so we can kind of align them. We'll take a look at the charge port. The loudspeaker hole looks a little bit different size. The SIM card tray looks on the right side. It has this little button thing here. I'm not quite sure if that does anything, but we'll find out in just a second. And let's get this thing installed. Now we have the back off and we can take a look at the S25 with the S24 screen. And look, they look almost identical. Let's get a closer look. Wow, look at this. Yeah, I was looking at the FPC connector and I noticed this engraving where it says PBT-GF45. And the screen has the same exact number. And it has the V3, which probably means Volt 3, as a dash 1, 1 dash 1, and the other one has 9 dash 1. A little bit different but we'll take a look and see if it will work. Now for the big moment, we're gonna try putting the loudspeaker in. It doesn't seem to fit, and I decided that I would modify the new screen a little bit. Hopefully my boss doesn't get mad that I'm modifying our screen to try to get this to work. Dang it, after modifying it a little bit, it still doesn't fit. And after looking at it some more, I really feel like it could fit. If you just modified the side with a Dremel and then you could get it to fit. And I feel like when they make the parts for us, that's what they're going to do because they already do it already with the Samsung S23 Ultra. I've seen Dremel work done inside the frame for the international version to work for the US version or the Verizon version. There's so many versions. All right, next we're gonna try the charge port out and see if we can get the charge port to fit. Now let's see if it will fit in the S24. The S25 charge port fitting in the S24 and it fits. Ba, ba, ba. We're gonna put the main board in and see if that fits in the S24 screen housing replacement for the S25. The antenna doesn't seem, want, seem to want to sit down right, so I decided I would take it off and you know, I decided that uh, since the loudspeaker wasn't going to be on there, we'll just take it off for now to see if we can get the screen to work and get it to turn on with the screen on it at least. To my amazement, the main board laid down flush to the frame, but the 5G antenna, not so good. It probably needs a Dremel cut spot to have it sit down correctly because it doesn't seem to sit down just right. But now we're going to take out the battery and we'll just grab these pull tabs and we'll take out the battery and I'll skip that part for you guys so we can get on with trying to put the battery in. Uh oh, the battery is not fitting. It is too big for the frame. Just like I was saying earlier, I feel like they could probably cut a spot for it because I want to show you something. Look at this. I put together the S25 and the S24 screen and housing, and the screen turns on! Woo! It's the S24 screen on an S25! That is amazing! Oh my goodness, I was right about how they're going to make the parts! I debunked it for you guys! Please like and subscribe! Now, let me show you how I Frankenstein this together. I folded up the battery a certain way. This would be perfect if you have an S25 that needs a data recovery and you got a, you can't get the screen, you can use the S24 screen to get the data off their device, which is a great thing for you guys to know. And also, it's kind of funny to see that they're using parts from older phones and phones that call a new. 
Like, what the heck? What's so new about this? I don't feel like they should make new phones anymore unless it had teleportation connected to it. Because there's nothing new with a phone that they could do to impress me any further. All right, so we'll get everything disconnected. And I had it just all rigged in, just like so. But just like I was saying, they're going to have to rework the edges with a Dremel. And um, they'll be able to use the S24 screens for the S25. So that means the cost of the part is going to be way down. It's going to be way cheaper than the S24 was when it first came out. This is going to be awesome, you guys. I'm pumped up. Please, I can't say it enough. Like and subscribe or I'm going to put a broken battery in your phone. All right. Thank you for watching. Share my video. It's your time.